Hey guys, so today is like a redo of an older neck beardy video. I think it was one of like the first ones he ever done. Yeah, it was definitely in the like first like five videos. Yeah, um, but I've never read it before and I've heard people talk about it constantly. So I thought, eh, well, we're in isolation. Let's do it. So here's the story of Wolfman Greg. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, boys. Sit down for a tale of the most autistic kid I have ever had the displeasure of running into. Wolfman Greg. Be me. Be 16 around 2000. Wasn't an outcast, but wasn't a popular kid either. Kinda did my own thing, really. Shared world history with this kid. His name was Greg. And this was his fall from grace and into autism. It was never a fall, because like, he was <laughs> never anything to begin with. Don't. It was always this. <laughs> Greg, at this point, was quiet and reserved. Never did anything to get bullied. Especially after Columbine. Ooh. <laughs> well, it's that time. You know, like, <laughs> All that was going to change soon. Friday, he was totally fine. That Monday, apparently Greg's parents had bought him a computer and an internet connection. Oh, how two days can change a man. I have no idea how just two days of internet access can do this to someone. Wild West of the internet, boy. No, but like... Look, let's keep going, let's keep going. <laughs> he obviously hadn't showered at all since Friday. He didn't really pay attention during class and was mostly drawing in his notebook. His smell was palpable. The bell finally rang. Greg collected his things and headed for the door. Not before he bumped into a guy named Mike. Mike was not pleased with Greg's odour. Jesus, Greg, you fucking reek! Greg stood silent for a moment. And then he did it. He fucking growled at Mike. Oh, look, you know the thing is, everyone... I've had, never read this story. No, no, but there was always that one fella in school that did stupid shit like that. Oh, what, you like know? the one kid doing the Naruto run up to the canteen yeah, to get his it, fucking chicken dippers? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Running by you going... Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> you know exactly what you're on about. Mike just pushed Greg out of the way and made his way into the hallway and walked to his next class. The rest of the kids gave Greg a strange look for the rest of the day. Tuesday. Apparently Greg didn't do his homework the night before. Instead, he bought a grey hoodie and some cloth and sewed some ears to the hood. At least he showered this time, thankfully. The teacher was this really nice vegan lady from Oregon. She was a little pushy with homework, but that was really it. She asked for homework to be passed up front. Everyone handed theirs in. Greg, where's your homework? Silence. Greg, she approached his desk. The room was strangely tense. Before this, Greg was a good student. She was standing at Greg's desk. Greg, she reached out for a piece of paper she assumed was his homework. And then he snapped at her. Not like screaming or yelling, but he tried to bite her. Ugh. You could actually hear the clack of his teeth. The teacher gasped. Greg just got up and Naruto ran out of the room. <laughs> ah, I told you. Ah. <laughs> what is up with you? I don't so know. Funny. Why is you the funniest thing ever? No one had seen such a thing before and we were really taken aback by him trying to bite the teacher and the way he ran. The teacher called security. No one saw Greg for the rest of the day until one of the stoner kids reported seeing Greg in after-school detention. Apparently he got on a table, curled up into a ball and tried to nap. The Indian man in charge didn't care enough to bother him. Wednesday. Greg apparently wanted to make it up to the teacher. Unfortunately, she was a little late because her Ford broke down. One of the football players brought her to campus on his motorcycle. She had what was left of a bug on her cheek that she missed. She walked into class 10 minutes after class started. She apologised for being late. Greg walked up to her. Hood up. Shitty cloth ears flopping. She looked at him puzzled. Is there something you want to tell me, Greg? She was probably hoping for an apology. Greg grabbed her face. He had folded notebook paper in his hand, pulled her close to his, and licked her cheek. Oh, God, please, no. And the bug guts too. <coughs> Ugh. The whole class went dead silent. Greg then tucked the paper into her breast pocket and sat back down. The teacher, as a testament to your character, pretended that never happened. <laughs> I don't blame her. I, <laughs> I would do the I, exact I, same I, thing. I have, I have no idea how I'd handle that situation I, uh, in like a professional sense. Sense. 
I think Being I, a teacher? Yeah, I don't... I what don't are you meant to do? Idea? I have no idea. Uh-uh. <laughs> Let's keep it. The class went on as normal. She looked shaky and on the verge of tears this time while we were talking about the Boxer Rebellion. When the bell rang again, Greg bolted full Naruto style out of the room. His hoodie came loose and fell off, revealing a really shitty attempt at anime hair. Oh god. I didn't see him again for the rest of the day. After school, I was walking home and I saw our US history teacher talking to the school cop, with her equally vegan and upset boyfriend there too. We didn't see Greg for two weeks after that. Thursday, two weeks after the incident. Greg was back. If you think he was bad after a weekend of early 2000s internet, Greg had been exposed to a full two weeks. Oh God. (laughs) He clearly hadn't showered at all. He looked like he slept, ate and shat in the grey eared hoodie. He reeked. He also added a very poorly made tail to the back. Oh Christ. (laughs) By this time, we were on World War I. The teacher decided to hold class outdoors for once to demonstrate some things. As soon as we got outside, everyone put themselves upwind of Greg. The teacher would live to regret having class outside. Everything was going fine. We were discussing the Battle of the Somme in the gentle Arizona winter. Greg, what are you doing? All eyes shot to Greg to see what horror we were about to witness. Greg was digging with one hand in the soft soil. He didn't answer. Everyone turned back to our teacher. And then the digging got more ferocious. Greg, please stop digging. The groundskeeper worked really hard to grow that grass. No answer. He kept digging. Greg! The digging intensified. Greg, stop it! Still nothing. Mike stood up and started walking towards Greg to stop him. By this time, Greg had a foot deep hole, about a square foot wide. Everyone stopped. Their faces when... Greg turned around, dropped his pants, and started to poo. (laughs) Oh god, the stench. What the fuck? This is probably the first shit he had in two weeks. Everyone flipped and got as far away from him as possible. Greg managed to fill the entire hole up. Oh my god. That is an exaggeration. A foot deep hole and about a square foot wide. No. There's no way. No. Like, I've had some weird shits in my day, but but not not enough to fill up a fucking... No way. Not even Foot deep hole. Not even half of that is realistic. You know, I know sometimes some green texture is a bit over the top. I do believe he looked the teacher. I do believe he had the hoodie. I don't believe... Believe you've done a shit? Well, I believe his poo was probably not as big as that. Do you believe you've done a shit? It's possible. Well, if you licked the teacher, you probably done a shit. Yeah, exactly. But I just don't believe on the side of the yeah. size of this turd. Yeah. <laughs> this turd! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's keep going. This is a bit much. Come on. He then lifted his pants, sniffed it, and then buried it. <sighs> the 9 out of 10 goth girl fainted. Greg got sent to the office and was sent home for the day. Friday... Greg was tolerable that day. Nothing happened. The following Monday, Greg was late to class. Like, really late. The poor teacher marked him absent. Halfway through the Treaty of Versailles, guess who showed up? Fucking Greg. And the horror. We didn't see it at first. And for the next ten minutes. And then we heard it. A crunch. Oh no, I know what this is. Oh no. Oh no. And not the normal granola kind. Like the wet, gross kind. The kind that something biting into a bone would make. The girl in front of Greg turned round. She flipped her shit. Greg, what the fuck? Greg had a bird. A half-eaten bird. He was late because of this. I was marginally impressed because he managed to catch a bird, kill it, and partially eat it. I also wanted to throw up. The teacher approached him and attempted to rescue the poor avian creature from this kid. Greg wasn't having it. He actually landed a bite on her. A bad one. Mike had enough of this shit. Before he could react though, Greg threw his mail at him. The distraction worked. Greg attempted to jump over the desk. He failed and landed face first on the tile. Luckily, he had enough time to get up, spit out some blood, and a riddle rum out of the room. (laughs) What the fuck? Somehow, he wasn't expelled for this. Our teacher missed two weeks of school because of an infection though. That's you mad. need a fucking tetanus shot after that cunt. <laughs> <laughs> About a week into our poor teacher's absence, the substitute put us in the computer lab to research some shit. She sat right behind Greg, 
Thanks to her fatness and her odour, she was immune to Greg's smell barrier. <laughs> Our schedule was fucked that day. They were having assembly for 8th graders that would be attending next year. So we only had our first class that day. For 8 hours. We broke for lunch. Nothing weird happened with Greg. Yet. When we got back though, shit started happening. Slowly. Everyone had the post-lunch sleepies. Half the class was napping at their terminals. The other were either working or goofing off. I was helping the 9 out of 10 goth girl work on her horror novel. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't too bad except for some grammar errors. I'm going to say that's bullshit because you know fine that it was the biggest cringe fest ever. Yeah. Like, goth fucking... I need to do a video on that. You know, like, really horrible, horrible, like, fan fictions. You know, like... Yeah. Yeah. No, that sounds great, actually. I need to look, see what I can find. <laughs> and we were flirting. Shit was cash. The substitute fell asleep at some point, leaving Greg free to do as he pleased. And he was really pleasing himself. Oh, fuck. I happened to glance up and catch it. Poorly drawn, early 2000s furry porn. Greg was jacking it pretty hard. <laughs> Go on, Adam, I'll say. <laughs> he must have just started because no one seemed to have noticed yet. Hey, Anon, what are you staring at? Oh my god! <laughs> the goth girl freaked out. This in turn drew attention to Greg, who happened to start climaxing. Oh no. The next five seconds was beautiful. The screaming woke up the sub. Greg panicked mid -com. <laughs> Instead of turning off the computer, he pushed the monitor off the desk. He ended up getting cum everywhere. After this incident, he was handed to the Tard Wranglers. <laughs> he was transferred out of regular classes. But this was not the end of Wolfman Greg. We went a month without Greg shenanigans. Everything was peaceful. I even managed to sleep with a goth girl a couple of times outside of class. Lies. Yes, lies. That's fucking lies. lies. Greg was even allowed to join us occasionally. What? What do you mean join us? No, join in the class or... Oh, um... uh, okay, okay. <laughs> he was heavily guarded by a wrangler though. He didn't speak much, but we nicknamed him 8-Ball. Eight 8-Ball Eight didn't take Greg's shit, except for letting him growl or whine once in a while. Near the end of junior year, we thought we had heard the last of Wolfman Greg. Nope. Lunchtime. I was sitting with a goth girl. Marion and her gaggle of dark brooding sisters had a good view of the courtyard where the other tables were at. We were talking about Poe when it happened. Of Honestly, course I, they were talking I, about Poe. A girl and Poe. Honest to God. I don't get it with the whole God. Like, you know, I was a goth girl. I wasn't into fucking Poe. Well, you're not. No. Good. <laughs> it's fucking cringe. I'm sure his stuff's actually pretty good. It's just been ruined. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the same people, like, you know, you know, like hardcore, like, like proper yeah. neckbeards that claim to be like uber mansion because they like love <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was like mostly like American goths were probably into Poe yeah there was over there here was. I was just into fucking drinking man <laughs> yeah, yeah. and listening to heavy metal yeah, that, was that, it. Was a, that was a lot more fun though the doors to the tarred building burst open and there was Greg I was horrified I watched him sprint out howling oh Aru! <laughs> Aru! oh god <laughs> Eight ball nowhere to be seen. No one really cared or noticed the horror about to happen. Greg wandered around for a bit before singling out prey. This poor shy girl named Marissa. He snuck up behind her. Oh God. <laughs> he pinned her to the table and pretended to mount her. He had his dick out and was rubbing it on the back of her sweater, howling like a wolf the whole time. Oh uh, no, that's horrible. Everyone went apeshit and scattered. Did no one help the fucking poor girl? I don't know. Like, that's a moment of pure panic. Like, what you, <laughs> you know, you know what it's like in school, though? <laughs> hey, someone took a shit! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just different mentality back then, you know what I mean? This had to be the final straw. This went on for what felt like forever. Eventually, he came up Marissa's back. <laughs> Eight Ball finally showed up after getting Arby's. Greg was expelled after this and labelled a sex offender. Good. Marissa dropped out, poor girl. Eight ball lost his job. Aww, that was. That's just. I don't know. Well, he f wasn't fucking there. He should have been there. I know, but like, I suppose Gre Greg shouldn't have been there to begin with. Bring a packed lunch. Greg should have been kicked out from eating that bird. Or actually, you know what? He should have been kicked out the second he took a shit. <laughs> the field. You know what I mean? He wouldn't have been there. So. <laughs> that was the end of Wolfman Greg for high school. I have one more. This happened six months ago. To clarify. 
I met Greg was allowed to join in our class. Not join me in hitting that sweet peel ass in the back. <laughs> well, you see, I had a question. <laughs> in the back and on the hood of my old CRX. I can drop that green text if anyone else is interested. I'm talking No, lies. thank you. I'm saying lies. You never fucking up. No, no goth girl. No, I'm telling you. Six months ago, it's been 15 years since seeing Greg. He had left my mind entirely. Driving through my old town to visit my folks. Then I see it. Is that... No fucking way. Holy shit, it's fucking Greg. On a vintage Vespa. I'm in fucking awe that he's got a sweet scooter and I'm on a second hand leader bike. Nearly rear end at the taxi. He pulls up next to me. Thankfully, he doesn't recognize me. I can fucking smell him through my helmet. Oh no. I nearly puked. Managed to distance myself from him and get to my parents' place. Dinner is fine. Mom's doing great. Blah, blah. Decide to meet up with some old friends for a ride. Step outside. See that fucking Vespa in the neighbor's driveway? Is that... No. Ignore it and go cruise. Come home a few hours later. Vespa's still there. Please, no. (laughs) Greg lives next door to my folks now. After talking to now 3 out of 10 goth girl on Facebook, Greg's folks died and he inherited a large chunk of change. Bought the house next to my parents. Is complete neat. He doesn't do anything but browse the internet probably and do wolfman things. <laughs> wolfman <laughs> wolf things? Is that what Barry's <laughs> called? I'm, I'm going to do my business, okay? <laughs> Takes his oh. shit in the garden. <laughs> you know, what the fuck? <laughs> Try not to let this crush my soul and crawl into my old bunk bed to sleep for the night. As I'm drifting off to the thought of making the goth girl of yesteryear swallow my cum and calling me her owner, I hear it. It's fucking howling. God damn it, Greg! (laughs) My boner is ruined! It's too (laughs) loud! (laughs) Greg's fucking howling keeps me up until 3am. I finally fell asleep. Wake up the next morning. Go through the day with my folks, a shell of my former self. That night, it happens again. The terror is replaced with rage now. Open my window. This is it. Greg! It's 11 o'clock at night. I have to go home tomorrow and I need sleep. Shut the fuck! Up! Slab window. It's all quiet now. Fall asleep and leave the next morning. A few months later, mum calls me. The cops enter Greg's home due to a smell complaint. They find Greg. Greg was dead. I inadvertently got him to kill himself. I don't know anything else. But the house was torn down. It's now an empty lot. But I and hundreds of others still remember Wolfman Greg. Godspeed, you magnificent, early, furry, trash bastard. (laughs) I don't believe he killed himself over being told to shut the fuck up now. He should have. He probably should have, but that's not the point. (laughs) You know, it's been so long since I've actually done, like, a normal green text story time that, like, you know, I forget sometimes just how over top some of the parts are. Like, okay, I'm going to pin out here right now. He never fucked no Garf Gull. No. That's how I'm... And Wolfman Greg, now, don't get me wrong, I believe he took shit in the field. I don't believe he died either. I don't I, believe he killed himself. Um, it could be possible. It could be, but, like... Uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, there's always elements, and that's kind of why I think I moved away from, like, more green text story times, because a lot of the parts are just a bit over the top, and it's like... And but sometimes, but over the top, it's fun, it's though. funny, yeah. even though everyone in the comments like, faking gay! <laughs> faking gay, faking gay, you know, it's pretty much the standard, but, like, I enjoyed this story of Wolfman Greg, there's not many green texts that I'm really into, there's a handful that I actually have never got around to doing, so I might go around and see, let us know what you think of doing one of these, because it's been so long since I've done one. If you guys want some more Enjoy of them. Enjoy green text. Yeah, sometimes they are a lot of fun. So, like, if you guys enjoyed this one, definitely let us know. Also, also something to check out. Megan's got her own YouTube channel. She's, Yee, doing, some me gusta. Sp- she's doing some spooky shit on it. We're going to have another video sometime this, this week. And so, like, hope you guys enjoy. Check out the links down below. All the other good shit. And we'll see you, well, I don't know, next tomorrow. Time? <laughs> yeah, next time. Well, yeah, see you then. All right, bye-bye. Bye.